Heinz Buick. It's getting to be pretty interesting. We've done a lot of things to this car. We've got a bumper mounted. Uh, I've done some configuration and I found out I can run 14 inch rims on it. So I'm not sure if we're going to run 14s or if I'm going to run 15s. Not 100% sure. The 14s kind of get a little bit close to the calipers. 15s give me a little bit of space. I've ran new brake lines. I've bred the, uh, bled the brakes. I put new brake fluid. I've put a cage into a gas tank. Started seat belting all the doors shut. There's been a lot of work done to this car. You guys want to take a walk around? So we have our bumper mounted to the front of it. Nice. Welded right to the front. A couple straps holding it on. Changed out some motor mounts. Coil packs removed. New brake lines. All the electrical has been moved. I've changed out some of the positives. I've done all that. This side here has got 14s. Other side has got 15s. I've started seat belting the door shut, seat belting the trunk shut. I got the holes cut in the trunk. Now I'm not really allowed to pre-bend very much and not allowed to crease. I did dimple and notch the frame. I've got my cage in, I've got everything bolted. This side here I've like the, the cage bolted in. I've got uh, this side here a little bit more seat belted. Where I'm running actually is mandatory to remove door locks and door handles, so I've started on that. Uh, this side here's got the 15 on it. Again, more wiring moving, computer moving. Fun, fun stuff. But, what's the point of today's video? One, it's like 43 degrees outside tonight, and it is hot in the shop tonight. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to it, to be honest, but I'm just super excited. Decided when I got off work, I'd come back here and see these. Now these were actually just bought and shipped to my door. This is from a new company. You know what? I have a set of Jeffy headers. I have a set of gray area headers. Um, I've had a DEC headers in the past. And you know what? I want to try out different companies. See how they sound. See differences. See any problems that people have fitting it. Um, this one right here is from Smokin' Headers. Uh, is what he is on Facebook. Now... I didn't find them too bad of a price. They're $150 for the Lumina headers, and they are $100 for the Camry headers. Now, the problem with me is that's American, so that's $250 American. By the time you change that to Canadian, that's $350 Canadian, and then you put shipping on top of that to what I think was like $37 American. So that brings it up to about $400 Canadian for these two sets of headers. And then, once it gets shipped to my door, you see all this COD? That's for duty and shipping and cross-border fees, which was another $117 Canadian. So basically, for one Camry header and one Lumina header, it was $500 for me. Now the problem with that is, is that's only because I'm Canadian. Look at the sweat on me. It is so hot, but I'm really, really excited to see these headers. Now the reason why I bought one Lumina header, well, two Lumina headers and one Camry header is because I really want to see how these things sound, one, but if I just buy the Lumina headers, I have nothing to compare it to. I've never ran Jeffy headers on Lumina. I've never ran Elliott headers on Lumina. I've never ran any headers on Lumina, but I have ran plenty of headers on a Camry, so I did buy a Camry one as well. And uh, I'd like to see the differences in how they fit, how they sound, how thick they are, out of the box kind of look and feel, that kind of thing. Now lucky for you, I actually just did buy a new knife, so I even have a fancy knife to open this. So, first thing I'm going to say is, I actually like this, it came in a box. Uh, when I bought my Jeffy's headers, they were just Sharan wrapped together, and there was two sets of headers, so there was a Camry, a Corolla, some uh, shifter brackets and some wheel centers and they're all just shrink wrapped together and I didn't really know if it was all in there this came like the gray area box that is actually in a box uh, it's much bigger than the gray area box but I think these ones are actually much much taller so oh, it's put a lot of shipping stuff in there he doesn't want this to get damaged that was pretty nice now I just want you guys to know I'm not sponsored I actually paid for all these headers. Um, if I was given this stuff for free, I'd let you know if I was giving it for free. I had to pay lots of money for this. 
So he's actually put quite a bit of newspaper, some bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. Hours of entertainment. But let's get down to the goodies. There's my four in a row, so that means to the camera. Wow. That's pretty thick. That's actually pretty heavy. Let's get the exact amount. Wow. Okay, so first impressions, let me go get a... I have a Jeffy header off for cars, so let me go get that. It's in the view? Yes, it is. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is the height difference. Now, I know that Jeffy can make his to any height. Um, I didn't specify a height, I just told him I want a camera header. I said, do whatever you'd like. So this is what he did. One thing I'm noticing that all four pipes are cut the same length in here, they're all welded together. And Jeffy's are all welded together, but they're actually different heights. Um, another thing that I'm noticing is these are actually a lot bigger pipes. I don't know what size these ones are. I don't think it's going to tell me, is it? I'm not seeing any markings saying what size of pipes these are. These ones right here are 1.625. Now the other thing I'm noticing is that this bracket is much, much heavier duty. Everything on the inside seems to be dremeled. It looks like they've welded and then taken a dremel in there and cleaned all this up. The bracket does look like it's, it's home cut, like this piece here. Well, Jeffy's looks like it's laser cut, but they all look like they have the same amount of holes. Now, the one thing I am noticing is that the Jeffy's header will stick tighter to the motor. Now, I don't know if that is better or worse or, or not, but they both look like they have the exact same angle coming off the motor. So I'm, I'm actually really, really excited to bolt this to a Toyota Camry. I can't wait. It actually... I'm going to say it's, now it's probably the bottom bracket, but I'm going to say it's got quite a bit more weight than the Toyota Camry from Jeffy's. But, now I did notice that Jeffy's is actually welded all the way around on the bottom of the collectors. Well, theirs is just inside the, the valleys, and on the tops it's not welded. But, overall, that's, it, it's probably got one and a half times the weight of this one. That's probably the bottom bracket, but I don't know. We'll have to put this one on a Toyota and see how it lines up. Now let's get to these Lumina headers. Now I've never owned a set of Lumina headers. I've never bolted on a set of Lumina headers. Let's get the Exacto knife every day. That is a lot of bubble wrap in here. Okay, so now let's take a look at these Lumina headers. These do feel a little bit lighter. I can't see the size of the tubing on these. It looks like the same size as the Jeffy header. Now, all pieces are cut to the same length. They're all fully welded on the inside. Again, they're welded down here and dremeled on the inside. I am noticing that these look like they're, they're home cut again. So that is the only thing that I'm kind of noticing that is different. Now, I've never put on one of these headers before, but it looks like they've made it so the top three bolts are all... So you can just leave them on there and then slide the header up. I'm going to imagine that one's for the back side. 
And this one's for the front side. I'm not 100% sure. There's no instructions. At least I'm pretty sure there's no instructions. But, uh, I've never had a set of these, so I can't really give a comparison on these uh, Lumina headers versus other Lumina headers. But, first uh, thing I'm noticing is they're quite tall. But, I don't know. We're going to have to try these on. So, it's a little bit too hot today for me to try to take all this exhaust manifold off because I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to start. I'm going to get upset, I'm going to get extremely sweaty, and then I'm going to cut myself, and then I'm going to bleed everywhere, and then I'm going to get really upset, and the video is going to turn into crap. So I know exactly what's going to happen. So I'm just going to probably wait till tomorrow, because tomorrow, instead of being 43 degrees, it's only supposed to be 22. So it's supposed to take a 20 degree drop, and that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Uh, I know how to change kilometers to miles, but Celsius to Fahrenheit... I kind of failed that in high school. I think it's you yeah, times it, you double it and then add 16 or something. I don't know. All I know is our water freezes at zero and yours freezes at 32. So, I don't know. Pretty excited for these. I've got nothing to compare them to, so I can't really give an open comparison. They look nice, though. Some good welds. I really like the time that they've taken to Dremel the insides, that's for sure. So I'll get these put on and a video coming up. Thank you everybody for watching. And uh, the company that I actually bought these from is called Smokin' Headers. And you can find them on Facebook. Holy. And uh, I'm going to try these on probably tomorrow night and I'm going to leave them a review on Facebook. Let them know if they're good or not. See if I have any fitment issues, but you guys will find out as well. So thanks for watching, and be sure to come back tomorrow. Take care, guys.